As you know, we had a conference in Paris, the Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, which adopted on December 12th uh, the uh, Paris Agreement. By adopting the agreement, the parties uh, came to a common understanding of the terms of what will be, would be the regime of uh, climate change, uh, of combating, to combat climate change. April 22nd is the date of opening for signature of the Paris Agreement. That's the date in which representatives of states from all around the world will come to New York in order to sign the original text of the agreement. We, we certainly expected a, a big participation even at a very high level. Uh, however, this is not the last opportunity for states to sign. The uh, Paris Agreement will remain open for signature for one year until April 21st, 2017. And we can distinguish three phases in particular. First of all, the uh, parties, the states, need to sign the agreement. Uh, by this, they express their commitment to uh, put into place the processes that will lead to the acceptance of the agreement at the international level. The second phase will be indeed the acceptance of the agreement by ratification, acceptance or approval. And lastly, of course, there will be the entry into force of the agreement itself. So the Paris Agreement, in order to enter into force, requires two thresholds. The first one is that 55 states accept the agreement. So we need 55 ratifications, acceptances or approvals for the agreement to enter into force. But this is not all. The, those 55 ratifications need to come from states that represent 55% of the total greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. So we need this double th threshold to be, uh, to be attained. 55 states that represent at least 55% of the total greenhouse gas emissions worldwide.